This Baldur's Gate 3 video is all about the fastest way to get to Orin. I am specifically making this video simply because there just isn't one that exists. Yes, there's plenty of guides about Orin and the Netherstone quest and blah blah blah, but none of them are the fastest way. They're all highly detailed and show all the steps and different possibilities. I'm just going to show you the quick and easy, dirty, fastest way to do it. Let's go. So step one is on the map. From the south span of Worms Crossing, simply go west, and uh, preferably a character would jump or fly. Uh, follow west, go up to the second floor here, go across, and then jump up or fly on top of this balcony. Open the double doors, and as soon as you enter, you'll get some XP, and then check out the bloodstained parchment. There you go. That sets it up so that the killer will spawn. You literally don't have to mess with any of the other stuff in here at all whatsoever. You're ready to move on. The second step is you're going to go to the lower city central wall. Now, this is at Baldur's Gate. And then you're going to travel east all the way down this path straight from the waypoint. And let me show you where we go from there. So you're traveling east. And then you're going to curve around to the left or curve around to the north. And there's going to be this wine tasting party. Now, there is always a dwarf in red armor. Uh, this time he's named Metzel, but sometimes the name changes. But he looks just like this red dwarf right here, this bald red dwarf. And you're simply just going to kill him. Now, he will try to escape, and there's some other, you know, things that spawn. But by now, you should be level 12 and just able to kick everything's ass. So just kill him and then loot his stuff. Now, I want to mention if you do the kidnapping trick and, like, throw him into a chasm, he won't have this handbag. So you want to make sure that you uh, just read the torn and bloody page here. There we go, that's going to give our character some info. And then in the handbag, you can just pick up the bag. Or you can just, uh, in the bag, you can just grab one of the hands, it doesn't really matter. We'll just grab that hand. Again, just take the bag, it's fine. From the wine festival, you're going to go northeast. So here's the wine festival, you're going to go north and then a bit east. Uh, to, uh, X61Y21. That's close enough. And then there's this door called Candle Hallows Tombstones, and... You're just going to have someone pick the lock or smash open the door. The guards will hear you messing with it, so just be stealthy or kill the guards, who cares. Now, once you're inside, just go through the doorways all the way to the very last room, and there'll be an office. Just go into the office. And again, if you can't pick the lock, just smash it. It's got 12 HP. Uh, you're going to move the painting on the southwestern shelf anywhere. I guess I stuck it on the ceiling. It's so funny. And then click the button. There we go. And that's going to reveal a doorway. Because we read that note, we can now uh, click on the yeah, cellar door. And then we can speak the passphrase, which will open the door. And now we're inside. So you're going to follow the pathway down. And there's a few things that you can do here. You can either side with the assassin ceremony and become... One of Bale's assassins, which is the easy way to do it. Or you can just kill everyone and then yoink a Bale amulet off a corpse. Whatever you want to do is completely fine. I recommend you just go with the ceremony. Yeah, it's a little bit evil, and all you do is kill some weird elephant thingy. But uh, it's really simple to do. No explanation needed. Now, when the guards talk to you, you just say, I killed the be here and took the victim's hand as proof. There you go. That's that bag we looted. If you go the kill route, just loot uh, Sarek. Serevok and Chev, he has the Amulet of Ball or Bale, however you pronounce it. Go ahead and pick that bad boy up. Otherwise, if you proceed with the ceremony and kill the elephant, he'll gift it to you for free. There we go. And then once you're done, you have to manually walk out the same way that you came in because there's no fast travel allowed, apparently. Next up, fast travel to the Baldur's Gate. And then you're going to go east to X-161, negative Y-63. negative So this is the path. Here's Baldur's Gate. You're going to kind of go south a bit and curve around east. And then let me switch to Asterion here. And uh, here it is on the map. So here is the fast travel. You're going to go south and then a bit east and then right around this corner here. So you're going right around this corner, up these little stairs. There's a little decoration on the ground. And uh, there is a manhole. So you just go down this manhole. And the reason we're going down here is because it is the fastest quickest way to get to the next area with no combat encounters you can just run straight there you don't have to talk to any of these monsters or do anything of the sort now once you're in the sewers you're going to go northwest so as soon as you go down simply just go over here and then there's some doorways we'll just enter the doorway that way we don't have to mess with the grease balls or the grease methods 
Oh man, is that grease or is it something else, guys? It is a sewer after all. But yeah, you just uh, you just go through here. Once you're going through the doorway, you just continue west. And then we're going to go through another doorway. Again, there's no combat encounters. There's no dialogue. There's no story, blah, blah, blah. Don't have to worry about any of this stuff. You just continue west. And uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, and, and we don't go through this doorway. I'm sorry. So instead of continuing west, we go north. Yeah, it's been a little while since I played, but here we go. There is a fast travel right here, and then there's a doorway, which uh, I'll explain how this doorway works. So, we're going to go to... Uh, I'll put it on the screen for you. Oh, by the way, uh, you'll encounter a party member, and it's um, it's Orin. She's just trolling. She's just, she's just doing her troll, you know, act. And here is the coordinates on screen. This unlocks the next fast travel. This is the Undercity Ruins. The next step is to unlock this eastern door. All you have to do is shoot the corpses hanging above this bloody circle. So we're just going to shoot it with an arrow, and that'll spill a bunch of blood. And then there we go. The door will open. Now, I, you can play this however you want, but this next area is a pretty tedious and, and annoying fight. But if you just have your character go invisible mode, you can traverse this next area with no combat encounters. You will miss some unique items, but you should have your build planned out and know what items you need and what items you don't. So, I just made my character invisible. Also, my characters can fly, so I'm just uh, I'm just bypassing this whole zone. Again, there's lots of enemies here to kill. You should be max level. There's no reason to kill them. You shouldn't need any of the gear here. I mean, they're suboptimal builds, but uh, you're going to then go through the doorway. There we go. And you're going to continue down. And I'm just going to fly down. You can take the stairs. It's very cinematic. There's lots of little whispering little creepy girls. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to fly down. And uh, once you fly to right down here, you get the next fast travel point. And here is the coordinates on the screen. And uh, once you have this fast travel, you can then teleport the rest of your party, who is not invisible, past that combat encounter. The Temple of Baal, the Temple of Bale, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Very easy. From here, you'll travel east, and there's a bunch of traps, but it's just blood. It's just getting you nice and coated in blood. It doesn't hurt you. It's just kind of gross. Who knows whose blood that is? Uh, and then, well, I guess there was something there, a little explosion. It's fine. You're max level. You got a healer, probably. Anyway, you just talk to the door. You have the amulet, and then uh, press the amulet against the door. There you go. Doors open. Simple as. And then at the center of the room is... Orin, and my favorite way to kill her is by save scumming by throwing her off a cliff. Uh, let's hold on. Let me not click the altar here. Of course, I've got an invisible character that has all the strength stuff. We make a little safety save, and uh, then we just toss her off the cliff. So we just grab throw, and uh, well, I gotta angle it a little bit different here. But uh, even with a very high strength character, this can still be pretty hard to do. But there we go, so death. Let's see if we win the, the saving throw. And we didn't. Now, if I load game, it'll crash. And uh, I'm hitting my quick load button, so this normally crashes the game. But just throw her off a cliff. There you go. Her nether stone will spawn back on the top of the platform. And you're all set. That's how to do Orin, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have a faster way of doing it? Uh, let me know. I would love to know. But uh, I have not seen a single video explain this. I, I remember when I was playing through the game, I searched and searched and searched. And every video was just full of stupid info I didn't care about. And if you search a speedrun, everyone is the, uh, what's it called? The the Dark Urge. So you can skip the whole getting the Bale Amulet if you're the Dark Urge, by the way. But uh, other than that, yeah, just have fun reloading the game and throwing Orin off a cliff. It's also awkward to walk on this because it's a... Uh, it's a, it's a platform. But yeah, there you go. That's all you gotta do. See you later. Thanks. And so anyway, I threw her off a cliff. There's the netherstone pommeled bloodthirst. Uh, that will start combat though, because it does turn you on invis. I don't know why, but uh, these guys are pretty easy. You can beat them up. You're max level. You're fine.